we well, we've had our thrills oh, on Podcasters Hill. <laughs> she really wants to hate it. They hate it. A singer. Here with two thirds, only two thirds. Two -thirds. No, of the, oh wait, wait, with wait. all three. Q <laughs> <laughs> Angie of the Three Ply Podcast Girls, ladies, the ladies. Now I met you guys when I came to Stitches Midwest, right? Right. Yes. And so Thank tell you. us all your names. You can start from here to here. I'm Angie. I'm Irene. And I'm Joyce. <laughs> <laughs> and there are three ply podcasts. Yes. Three ply podcasts. So we are shooting this October of 2018. So how long have you been doing your podcast? Just over a year. Yeah. We yeah. a little year over a year. Yeah, a year in July mm -hmm. it was. And we're having so much fun. Are you? It's yeah. Fun. It's we, still yeah. tons of fun. You're loving it. Yeah, we, we do. absolutely we do. Really do. Yeah. Okay, so talk about. I, I guess I'd like to hear both of your individual sort of knitting journeys, and then how it came together, and then became the podcast. So can you tell us all those chapters? Sure. Should I go first? You go first. Yeah. All right. Well, I retired, and on my bucket list was to knit. Um, and I had knit as a young girl. I knew how to knit and purl, kind of picked it up in the 80s a little bit, and then, you know, work and children got in the way. How and kids? so, How kids? three daughters old. <laughs> oh, they're all old. old. <laughs> I'm grateful for you that they're old. Yeah, they're old. Okay. I have six grandchildren, Woo! and uh, so there's plenty of people to knit for. Mm -hmm. And uh, after I retired, I decided I'm going to go back to knitting. And uh, Elgin Knitworks was in our neighborhood, and there I was knitting again. Well, what else was on your uh, on your bucket list? Some travel things, mm -hmm. but I think knitting, um, especially knitting, because it was something I like artsy crafty stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, I had done cross stitch as a kid mm -hmm. and. Uh, color by number was a big deal. Mm -hmm. Some of that kind of things like that. And knitting is portable, so you can take it, it is. on your travels. There you go. Yeah. So yeah. Wh how did you start? Because I think there are some people who don't know where to start when they want to return to knitting. So what was the first uh, thing you First did? thing was to locate somewhere to go to learn to knit. So Algin Knitworks. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I have to say, when you return to it after you've not picked up knitting needles, you know what it feels like? With chopsticks. Okay, yeah. It doesn't, it's not like It's not a natural, <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, did I ever do this before? It yeah. felt so unnatural. Yeah. Yeah. But it, then it came back and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you start, I started with the scarf. Uh, I wanted to do the socks. I've mm -hmm. gotten into that. I know you don't like them, but I'm trying. I love <laughs> socks. Everybody knows that, yeah. but yeah, I'm having fun with it. What do you knit for the grandbabies? Uh, sweaters, scarves, hats. Mm -hmm. Like, is that sort of their layout when they're when they come? Into no, the no, world? no, 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 no. I, you know, what? I actually don't like knitting anything when it's too small an okay. item. I want I something that would become an heirloom, but that they would also, you know, wear for a while. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So love it. Three years and up, I'd say. Okay, three years and yeah. up. Yeah, you gotta be, you gotta, you gotta earn that sweater yeah, from grandma. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Okay, what about you? Um, well, I've been knitting for a long time. Oh well, yeah, you're the longest resident I'm the knitter longest, yes. of the three ply, yeah. right? Okay. I had an aunt teach me. Um, or I'm just gonna go ahead and say it in sixth grade. Wow. And I need to thank her for all the passion and all the love I've had for all those years. Because it was just a lifestyle from the start. With from you? the start, I and. It, I was hooked the moment I actually got it and, you know, could actually create a row that, you know, was nice and even, like a swatch. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I'm yeah. Like, okay, look, I could do this. Mm -hmm. And then I, I've just loved it ever since. That is amazing. And we didn't really have, uh, we had um, one, one shop that really did teach knitting, and I think I went for another class, and then um, I learned basically everything from... Just reading the abbreviations, I thought, well, I could do this. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I did make a couple of huge mistakes, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, I just loved it ever since. Did you knit with wool from the start, both of you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you did. Do you remember? I, are um, you saying what else could it be? Well, a lot of people like start with acrylic. Like acrylic. No. Yeah. No, or, I, or depending on your age, it was only wool. It was only wool, and then shifted to acrylic, and then you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I think it, I don't think it was a hundred percent wool, although I knew it existed. I think it was more of a blend, but I don't mm -hmm. think it was straight. Just because when you, you know you do take a class, they do prefer you use the something that's a little better quality, mm -hmm. just so you get a better fit, better drape, all that other stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, things that I don't think a lot of beginners knitters. I don't think a lot of beginning knitters think about. The fit, the drape, you know, no. even what they're knitting with. I think it's kind of 
more unique if you're aware of all those things at, you know, the first day right. of knitting. Right. You know? Yeah. And yeah. even though, I, because I do know when I was taught, it was definitely with acrylic. Mm. And then when you go to the classes, you you definitely learn the difference mm -hmm. just, in, just in what you've played with, just by texture. Mm -hmm. So I do remember that. Mm -hmm. And I think it's interesting, the more you knit, that knitting is about so many different steps in the process. Like... From the colors and the fiber you choose to oh, how sure. it feels in your hands to how it feels on your body. Right. Oh, like, there's yeah. so many phases of it. Right. And and I'm still learning. I know. Every day I'm still learning it's a something new. I know. I love that about knitting. I, me too. It's shocking, but it's true. Right. I mean, I've been dedicating my life to this for two years, and I still learn something new almost every time. Right. It's amazing. And even if it's just a make one. Right? Make one left. Yeah. There's a couple of yeah. different ways to do it. So yeah. if you've done it on this project this way, you say, well, you could do it on this way and see which one you like Or better. even experimenting with fiber, uh, fingering weight versus worsted for a particular pattern. Mm -hmm. Correct. Right. We're into the bad oyster lately. Yeah. Have Is you that, seen that one? No, talk about that. Um, well, it's a pattern that Angie found. Uh, you kind of knit in the round and then you have to steak. You haven't oh! steaked yet? We did. Oh, so, so you we did, did do it. Oh my they, god, I'm on the third one. one. The girls I'm on my it. third one. Everybody should I do bad no, oysters. I haven't steaked yet. I'm shocked. I haven't steaked yet. I'm All not, I'm not afraid yeah. to do it. No. It's not about fear. Um, What's it about? I just, the, well, in, particularly the bad oyster, as cute as a pattern it is, I have a scarf that has fringe on it and I never wear it. I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to make that one. Because <laughs> if I don't wear them, I'm not going to make it. Because does the steak make the fringe? Yes. yes. Oh, that's yes. so cool. Yes. What a yes. fun idea. It's very creative. Oh, I like yeah. that. Yeah. And easy. Okay, so mm -hmm. how did you girls, ladies, ladies, girls, mm -hmm. women, connect? What was your At first Elgin connection? Elgin Networks, Networks. Mm -hmm. our local yarn shop. And the owner, Betsy, asked us, uh, or came, came up to us and said, oh, you should do a blog or or some kind of a vlog or whatever. And yeah, she a, said, yeah. you girls should do a podcast. Were yeah. you just knitting at the table? Because I think you yeah, skipped we were knit step. You just no, were knitting we, at the table? Well, knitting at the, the table, table, we became friendly. And, you know, the Wednesday night is our knit night. Correct. And, and you guys always went? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fine. I don't miss a Wednesday unless, I don't know, I'd have to be hospitalized, I guess, or something. <laughs> <laughs> and Everybody knows. Wednesday, don't bother me. Will you talk about that? Because I've never done that, where I go to oh. a regular knit night. Or, I mean, I used to have girls come over to my apartment regularly, and so I understand, I guess, that part of it. But talk about the knit night in the local yarn shop. What is that like for someone who... Maybe wants to get in on that and is too scared or... Oh, we are so welcoming. Yeah. I don't know what other shops do yeah. because I've never been to another knit mm -hmm. night. Right. Um, but everybody's welcoming. Even if a customer comes in while we're knitting, we'll say, oh, what are you knitting? What are you looking for? We try to help them yeah. with color. We don't work it. there. So, <laughs> you know, we'll get yeah. you a chair. Have yeah. a seat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. Yeah. I, and we're... Um, we're getting a lot of new knitters just in the yeah. last, just recently in the and last year. And people come months. back. So we love that. The social aspect of it, and you learn so much. It's almost like going for a manicure. You know how people start telling their life stories? Mm -hmm. It's the same thing at knit night. Mm -hmm. You know, you bring your problems, you bring your happiness, uh, people perk you up, you leave there happy. Mm -hmm. yeah. And well, with a bunch of yarns. Yeah. <laughs> And with less money yeah. in the bank. <laughs> yeah, or you come in and you say, oh, what's new? What came into the store this week? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fun. Talk about that because there was this one time I went to a local yarn shop and I did sit down at the table because I had 45 minutes and there was a yarn shop in the neighborhood mm -hmm. of where I needed to be. So instead of going to a coffee shop or just walking, I decided to just sit for 45 minutes and I sat down next to this woman and we didn't know anything about each other and she mm -hmm. just did. She started telling me like a very personal life story. And I was a little taken aback that yeah. she just trusted me with that because it was also sort of had some political themes. Of, I don't know if there was a religious theme, but some very specific, strong themes. that, And she didn't know anything about me or where oh, I landed. Yeah. And I was willing to take that in and just yeah. be her listening ear because that's what she needed right. Right, in that moment. Mm -hmm. But she just trusted me because I was in an Boy, in that's marriage. amazing. Well, we have a rule, no politics and no religion at mm -hmm, the table, mm -hmm. which is probably a good thing. Mm -hmm. Because you don't know what everybody, what side of the fence they're on. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, and that's okay. There's plenty to talk about besides mm -hmm. that. Yeah. So. Now, does everyone have an assigned chair? Assigned what? chair. 
no. unofficial assigned chair. That's not the true. only thing you have to kind of think about is. Can I get to the bathroom? Because <laughs> I get there early in the afternoon, mm -hmm. and you guys come after work. So I've got to like place myself like, okay, if I have to get up, you know, how many people do I have to right. bounce off of? Right, to get to, yeah. Because it's a little tight. Yeah, it it's is tight. tight. Yeah. 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 And, more, and, and it's, it's becoming tight. extremely popular. Right. So. Yeah. Will you have like a second layer around the table? Like, will you do like a second row, or does everyone have to be at the table? Well, we try to squeeze people in on the sides, yeah. and we, sometimes we they're out over. Yeah, table yeah. over. Mm -hmm. We do like what we can, but we yeah. like add that little yeah. tab. On yeah. The yeah, exactly. Pretty exactly. soon we'll be out the door. Right, That's right. Some of them <laughs> down the middle of the store. Now, are you guys knitting the same things? All no, different things? everybody's on their own. Yeah. Is there um, any competition? No. No. no, I, no. I, I think I we help actually, each other. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. actually call it competition. I or think we do not the same competition, thing. but something, Christy, if you're doing something, I'm like, oh my God, what are you knitting? Oh, I want to do that. Yeah. Help me pick some colors right. for okay. my shawl. Good, or, good, good. Yeah, that's that's how it works. Yeah. And do you do knit alongs? Like, we have. The yes, shop absolutely. The shop will do, but yes. not the ladies. Yeah. The well, shop. We did. We did that. Uh, we did the envelope. Remember that? The envelope. We did the cumulus. Oh, that's right. We did the loop. Show the, them your cumulus. Is it beautiful? Right? Yeah. Yes. <gasps> well, what is this? It's uh, this is the folio by Barocco, mm. and it's the pattern is by Petite Knit. Mm. Cumulus blouse. Mm. Cumulus blouse. Mm. I just heard lovely. about Petite Knit first yeah. time. Actually, there was another pattern that I came across. I'm like, oh, that's hers too. Really cute. Mm -hmm. but, They're kind of like nice basics for your wardrobe. Mm -hmm. They absolutely, absolutely wear, right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And this is your Rhinebeck sweater, right? This is my Rhinebeck sweater. Well, truthfully. I have another Rainbow sweater. You did you bring it? Um, well, no, because I didn't go have the zipper put in. Oh. And the day that I was going to put the zipper in myself was kind of a disaster. So I thought, mm, I'm really not in the frame of mind to put that in. So <laughs> I didn't do it. So, so just, we, it stayed home. Will you take that to a tailor or to the local yarn shop? Um, actually, the, we have a dry cleaners by us that does do it. On hand knits? On hand knits. She's actually done one for me before. <laughs> oh, but now oh. I've actually got a seamstress. You know, with my daughter going to prom and this and yeah. that, oh. I, I would I would take it to her. So at least we've got it. And she's not that far. I just didn't get it to her in time. Mm -hmm. It's my fault. It's mm -hmm. my own fault. So but. your daughter, she went there to get, like, her dress tailored? Yes. Okay. And you yes. trust her? I do. And actually, yeah. she's done my niece's wedding dress. And so now yeah. she's our girl. She Yeah, she's it. Like, yeah, she's, she's bona fide. Yes, Don't exactly. Don't change it. Right. She's <gasps> one, so. I think we should all do sweaters with zippers. <laughs> Christy, <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't about? know. I just think where are you be... going with that? I don't know. Just an idea. <laughs> well, they have lots of hoodies. I just get ideas. That'd be fun, right? Would yeah. you put your own zipper? I think I would. Yeah. And I would choose the zipper first. Oh. <laughs> That's a good idea. And you know what? Get I like a pink oh. chunky zipper. Yeah. Sure. And then decide what yarn goes with it. Well, maybe yeah. we could steak that number. Just a little zipper. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I like this idea. It's a good idea. Okay, so then, uh, so Betsy was telling you guys to do the podcast. Mm -hmm. Yes. And what what would that feel like? What'd you do? Like, talk about the process. Didn't want to do it. Do it was shocking yeah. at first. Yeah. Like, really? Well, had you been watching them? Uh, yes. Was, oh, and Joyce yes. is the one who told me about them because I was like the knitter who wasn't experienced. And mm -hmm. I don't know how we got on that topic. And Joyce said, oh, there's something called podcasts out there mm -hmm. in the world. Mm -hmm. And she was yeah. all I'm over like, that. I'm like, O-M-G. Yeah. Oh, my right. God. I yeah. started watching you. Yeah. I mean, I was all yeah. over it. I couldn't get enough. Yeah. Could not get enough. Yeah. It's better than And TV. then if people then... didn't podcast regularly, it would be so upsetting. It's I'm such like, a disappointment. Yeah. Yeah. When, when? I know. It's true. I think, you know, it's... So it's, you put out so much. Too. Yeah. A Sorry. person can hardly follow you. <laughs> it's too... I'm yeah. like, oh, my God, there's another one. Well, well it's just because they pile up. And so I gotta get them out. Yeah, I gotta get them out. Yeah. But mine's different from other Yours is regular. Yeah, it's not yeah. the usual. I totally agree. Yeah, yeah. I'm just kind of doing my, my own thing. Yeah, which is good. Um, okay, so I I agree though because the 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 podcasts that I follow regularly, I do feel disappointed if they're not on top of it. Yeah, right. You're like, boy, I haven't seen them for a while. Where are well, they? Well, and the problem is that it's almost like remember when we used to have to wait for Friday to watch our show or Thursday? Yeah. yeah. And that's how TV used to be. Right. right. But, but you knew it would be there Thursday that is or true. Friday. Thursday at 8. Yeah. Right? Here it's like kind of limited yeah. edition. Yeah. yeah. But we're also sort of been, we've been conditioned to know that we can watch the next episode right now if we want to. Like on that's Netflix. That's true. Yeah. And binge right. watch something. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's true. Yeah. So it's that. this funny little tiny throwback of, yeah. hmm, 
Hmm. We have to wait. We have to be patient. But we've been pretty good. Every two yeah. weeks. Talk about yours. Yeah. Every two weeks. Okay, so when you had, did you have a meeting? Did you have lunch? Like, how did you decide to plan it out? Who, what oh, we did yeah. meet. Yeah, 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 we went to the we, we, yeah. we did have a meeting. Okay, yeah. yeah. hey, bring us to that meeting. What was that like? Oh, gosh, Christy, yeah. that was a long time ago. <laughs> it was, but it was like, who's doing what? How are we going to do this? Yeah. Will this work? What software will we use? Well, that was you all, know, all it of was, it. Yeah. It was format, and what are our what are our sections going to be? Our topics, what we're going to yeah. name our sections, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. That's what could that's we what, do that's kind of different? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we don't have a product. Because right. what do we have? Shh. Don't tell her. <laughs> Don't tell my husband. <laughs> that's that's probably what we're known for. Yeah, I mean, people will come up to us and be like, shh, shh. <laughs> that's funny. So funny. And oh, yes. Shh. Don't tell. Do they, have they watched it, any of the husbands? Yes. Do they even know it exists? Yes. Oh, they know it exists. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Actually, we put them in. Yeah. Oh, were they On one of the intros. Yeah. And we decided we scrapped that. We were one. trying to do like a Jetsons thing. It didn't work out. Yeah. Too stealing well. the money. Yeah, handing over the money and then taking the wallet. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. That didn't work What that else? Did we did the Mary Tyler Moore thing. That was, that was funny. We had so many people ask. We asked, throw up our hats. The hat out of the tree. Yeah. And then it landed in the it tree. It landed in the tree. It wasn't okay. supposed to. I'm it like, was, where the hell's my hat? That was hysterical. That was, that was hysterical. That was a good goof to get on yeah. the camera. Yeah. But, so you did do some brainstorming. We yes. did. Yeah. So, and our, our segments really hasn't changed, but yeah. um, now... We're trying to do give us a little more time to get some more knitting done. So mm. we thought maybe we need to throw something else in there. So now our new section is what's new in the shop, and it's not necessarily our local yarn shops. Mm. It's some that we yeah, visit, we go on field trips, you know, field trips, that kind of thing. Mm. So yeah. we okay. need we need yeah. a little bit of help. Mm -hmm. So tell people who have never seen your podcast what what are the sections like? What can they expect when they pop? We over? do a little bit of administrative. Uh, maybe if we have a giveaway, something like that. What's the next thing? What are we wearing? What are we wearing? What are we knitting? Um, what did we finish? No bare feet. And no bare feet. Oh. I usually take over that spot. That's the socks <laughs> section. <laughs> <laughs> no bare feet, oh, a.k.a. Yeah. Irene's yes. section. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's all Angie, mine. Angie Sometimes Joyce is in there. Yeah. <laughs> Angie's always got cool yeah. shoes. Oh, she's and got cowboy boots What does Angie have? Cowboy the boots. sock puppet. Oh my gosh, the new one. Oh the my gosh, gosh. yes. Oh my gosh, that's funny. Yeah. We have to bring the sock puppet back. Yeah, we forgot to bring the sock puppet back. Now, how has it changed from the beginning to now? Are you guys... More oh. relaxed. Good. Yeah, we Not settled terribly. down. Well, sometimes. Yeah, the more we talk, yeah. the easier it gets. Mm -hmm. But it's yeah. still always that a little initial, awkward. Okay, yeah. hey, yeah. we're going to do this, and it's a little uncomfortable, and then we then we just forget about well, the camera. Well, fortunately, it's not live. Mm -hmm. I don't think we'd yeah, ever be true. good at anything live. Mm -hmm. But the longer we, we need, together, yeah. the more comfortable that we are, mm -hmm. so the, the easier it, it goes, gets yeah. as we go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yes. You know, like see each other. Yeah, and talk. yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I feel like there are some talk shows where the hosts won't d don't talk to each other before they get on air because they want to sort of save up their stories or save up the spontaneity. Oh, you know what? Though we don't talk about we don't really story tell. Yeah, we don't. And I don't really know whether that's something our viewers would like to mm. hear more. Comment of. below. Yeah, let us don't know. know. Yeah, I mean, I think they. I we mean, get down to business. Yeah, mm -hmm. we mentioned. Yeah. You know, the kids are mentioned here and there, mm -hmm. but it's not. Yeah. It's not like we say, well, I went to the dentist this week or yeah. I went to the movies. Yeah, we don't bore anybody that we with that. It's not like Regis and Kelly. Right. They, right. Yeah. yeah, it's like not yeah. from their life. Right. It's, yeah. not a, it's not a talk show. Mm -hmm. And I don't know whether anybody would really care. I don't know. Right. It's, you know, and we like that, and we get a lot of comments yeah. that they like the length of our podcast because we yeah, do try episodes. and keep it in the 30 35 minute mm -hmm. and everybody's like well yeah we can like you know we can watch it during our lunch hour mm -hmm. which yeah, yeah. incompletion yeah right incompletion mm -hmm. so um we 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 try and stay around that number oh, i mean we've gone over but not not often not a whole lot mm -hmm. yeah. yeah talk about your audience who who watches well, wouldn't that be interesting <laughs> to know from all over the world? We do, and we, we only know that because people will comment yeah. right. below from Croatia, right? Uh, yeah, right. things like that. Yeah. Oh, and the one that, uh, she speaks Spanish. I would love to have subtitles. Oh, and none of us speaks Spanish. Yeah, but she message she sends us a message every time, and I yes. have to ask my husband, "What is she saying?" So yeah. now we just pull it off. Send it to Google and have it translated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's so That's sweet. Nice it's very she's sweet. It's very something sweet. like, "Oh, I'm, I'm watching, and all I can do is watch, and, but I can't. I don't understand." It's so oh, sweet. Yeah. It really That's is sweet. Interesting. It, yeah. I know, but I'm like, none of us speak Spanish. We yeah. can't help her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And how has it changed in the past year? I mean, did you see growth? 
right away? Does it grow gradually every day? Ours has been, ours has definitely been gradual. Yeah, mm -hmm. gradual. Definitely been gradual. Yeah. And it, does that uh, motivate you to keep going? Does it matter how big your audience is? Talk about that. Um, I, oh, of course. I think we, I think we'd like to have, you know, Always more. The, the same amount of subscribers that you have. I just hit 25. We, <laughs> we heard. We heard. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm shocked. I heard oh you say you needed 45 more. Yesterday. Like, oh, she'll get it this I needed 45 week. yesterday and it hit around 10 o'clock. Yeah. Awesome. We knew you'd do it. That is such a little right? Yes. Yeah, you do it. Oh, I worked so hard. You I deserve do. that. I was so yeah. happy it happened oh. on Ryan Back Day. Yeah, oh, we knew that's you awesome. would do it. That was so awesome. That was no question for anyway. us. Anyway. But well, I did see that sea of cars and 40,000 people milling around Rhinebeck. I'm like, there's at least 45,000 people. All 40, those people. knitters. <laughs> yeah, there's so many knitters. But do they all watch podcasts? I don't know. Who are they? Know. Why are they? I don't think they do. Do they not they do. know? I don't think they do. And maybe we're not everybody's cup of tea. Right. We're in the older. Right. But uh, you're not. Exactly. I think, honestly, I think you are at the age. Because no, 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 no. Most no. I will mine, argue that with you. But if you look at the people who watch mine, they are your age. The, the most I of my viewers are your age. Yeah. Yeah, I, that would yeah. that would surprise me. I would have thought. Look at the statistics. Yeah. My pie chart is full of y'all. <laughs> really? Yeah. I, 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 well, I, those y'all have to come out. Yeah. Over. Yeah. They have. <laughs> but I just. But I think. I think that's. I, I think, think we're for the mature woman, aren't we? I think you're for all manners. Um, I think we each we each bring our own to the yeah. table. Yeah, point of view. And of course, yes. this one with her sassiness. Yeah, she's our yeah, wild she's card. Sassy. She's, yeah, she's wild sassy. Card. But um, but we said we would do this until it's not fun anymore. Oh, so that was we your rule. really really yeah. like the numbers, and we would like them to continue to grow up because yeah. we are still having fun. So mm -hmm. if we're gonna do it, yeah. Yeah, let's be, let's keep the numbers. Be going in our out. community. Yeah. yeah, be in our community. And comment. We love that. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I think that, that actually tells us we're interacting with somebody. Yes. Right. But having a screen, we don't. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. kind of a yeah. strange mm -hmm. yeah. setup. That's what I loved about. So we're shooting this the day after Ryan Becker. Ryan Beck is actually happening right now. Um, I love that about it because even though I do have a sense of my community. I really don't until I'm in the flesh with them. Yeah, and right. that happens so rarely, really, yeah. that it uh, really builds me up and wants me to keep going. So did you find, did you did people recognize you yesterday on the um, fairgrounds? Did you meet new people? We did we meet a couple people, new people. Yeah. And, but being on the hill, at first we're like, oh, why are we up here? <laughs> yeah, and why are without we our here? bling, oh my God, it was Andy's so awkward. Here, so like, oh, wait, it was wait, awkward. Wait, 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 rewind, because people yeah. don't know what you're talking about. So let me just give yeah. some background. So there's a little hill. They call it. We call it The Hill. The Hill. And I think it's Podcaster's Hill. Podcaster, but I don't, I don't unofficial. Know what they call it. So there's a meetup where people who have presence on YouTube, because yes. it's not technically podcast, because podcast is an audio thing, but us knitters call it podcast. Right. Anyway, people who have a presence on YouTube, they're all there on the hill. And they usually have some swag, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 I got swag and I forgot about yeah. it. <laughs> oh, no. So I'm going to give you some swag. <laughs> oh. But um, I didn't give any swag out. And I had, I was fully loaded. Forgot it. Even brought it. But anyway, so you kind of trade stuff yeah. and you say, I love your podcast. Yes. Right? Yes. That's yes. what happened. So you went to the hill and talk about what happened. We well, we had our thrills <laughs> on Podcaster's Hill. <laughs> They hate it. They a hate singer. It. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Okay, so what did you do? You walked up there together. With and, your we were, and we were yeah. early. We yeah. were early. We were early. Okay. Okay. That was okay. And then we had one of our uh, podcasting friends, Meg from Mullen Cookie. She joined us. I love her. Uh, me too. I'm a, is she she's so adorable. Michigan. Oh. Yeah, she's close. Very awesome. normal. She's awesome. Very nice. Very girl. normal. Yeah. 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 Very normal. <laughs> She's very normal. Our inner circle, normal. <laughs> Not like me. <laughs> so oh, we want you in our I'm inner circle. Right. Yeah. Yeah. In the circle <laughs> too. But I uh, slowly, and I told her, I remember before we left, I'm like, look, Angie's not coming with us. And I said, I'm not even sure we're recognizable without her. And it's I true. And I, and I yeah. made that because she. Oh, we came up to somebody today. And when I got Angie out of the bag, <laughs> she's like, I know Angie. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> It's so funny, but I'm like, okay. she's our bling. So we yeah. were up there for a little bit, and, yeah. and the, like I said, Meg came, and then um, Sandy by the Lakeside came, and Meg knew her, so we went to introduce, yeah. or we were introduced to her, and it kind of snowballed from there. And we met people that we really wanted to meet, 
And in turn, yeah. we I think we had a couple people that recognized us, but we were actually running around trying to find everybody else that we really wanted to meet. Mm -hmm. Right. So right. it. Yeah, we got the Espastri Co women. Yeah. Oh, this I was didn't funny even too. See them. Oh, they stayed oh. in my house. They were like, "Can you take a photograph?" There were a bunch of fans around them, uh -huh. and we're like, "Oh, sure, yeah, okay." And then we walk away, and I'm like, "We didn't get up." <laughs> yeah, we went back together. We gotta back. go back. Yeah. Oh my so God. and. That was fun. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I had a regret. I didn't see somebody. Amy Florence Stranded podcast oh, from the UK yeah, was not, there, and I'm like, there. I saw we her a little red hair. Like, her. And then next thing I knew, she was gone. Mm -hmm. so. I saw her briefly, actually, yeah. but not on the hill. I don't yeah. go to the hill. Yeah. Get bad. Well, you get go to swamped. Well, I don't know. You were working when we first yeah, got there, and we saw you. Yeah, yeah, I was working the whole day. No regrets. It was awesome. Yeah, yeah. I loved it. So, so the hill. Okay. So this was your first find back. Yeah. And what's your what are your takeaways? You know what? I think my favorite thing is people. The people. Mm -hmm. Everybody yeah, has yeah. been very, very courteous. And, yes. and it's funny, the whole picture thing, you know, normally you're kind of, can you take a picture of the three of us? Mm -hmm. People from behind you say, you want to take a picture? I'll take a picture of all of you. Yeah. The people are just very, lovely. very kind. They have been very, very kind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And did you do some shopping? Oh, yes. I only did a little bit of shopping. Yeah. Did what you did have you? goals or did you impulse no, buy? No, 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 no. You no. just went Just kind free. of, yeah. Disneyland. And I, to be frank, yesterday was tough. It was so crowded. It was oh, very you thought crowded. It was too Lots crowded. of people. Did you not I think didn't, I didn't go in to shop very much. At first, when I walked in, I felt like I do it at Ikea. I get dizzy, like, oh my God. I, <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, so yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. The stimuli is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, oh my God, I don't know whether I can even get into a booth to see any of the yarn. Mm -hmm. um, so today, when we went this morning, much better. Yeah. Was it? And maybe we could calm down a little bit. You know, we were over, you know, yeah. Podcaster Hill got, it's, you it's, know, was out behind us. and It's, we over, kind of it's overwhelming. And I think it's hard to come in. I mean, even though you go... Because we have a couple of local ones, too, and the yeah. first time you go and even stitches, it's like, oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. And then if you, it's really good to pick out your project beforehand because I did talk to one woman who stayed at our hotel, and she said, I had a budget. She mm -hmm. said, I doubled it. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell her. I did not give her name, <laughs> and I won't, but I was, I was shocked. Oh. So she's like, yeah, I went over my yeah, budget. Yeah. I doubled it. I'm like, yeah. But um, I have to say, the only bad thing we've encountered here is cell service. Oh, yeah. It was so, it's was it been so spotty, but that yeah. is the only thing yeah. that everything is else is <laughs> just, Everything else is... What a wonderful, wonderful weekend. It's been a very, yeah. very, very, very nice it. experience. Do you think I you guys it. will come back next year? Or? Next year, probably not. Yeah. But maybe yeah. someday? Yes. Yeah, well, I would, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I think you have to budget. Back. We come from far away. The yeah. airfare, the hotel, everything Please. ends up, and it's like, yeah. uh, you know. Yeah, it ends yeah. up being thousands yeah. of dollars. Right, and that, and that truly is yeah. it for, yeah. for one weekend. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think if we were driving distance, I bet we would do it maybe. I think we would do yeah, it frequently, would be yes. Maybe. But, you yeah. can do it in a day. I've done it. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> with children in the back. Ooh. Well, see, and my husband's yeah. family is from out here, so we've made this drive yeah. several times. Yeah, you know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, honestly, because of the New York City airports, I almost like getting in the car and driving straight to Chicago better than flying. Well, be and honest. all your stuff is in the car. Be honest. I it. it's con you especially the kids. Yeah. 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 You get in the car, and then when you get out, you're there. Yeah. Right. You don't have off, to right. take your clothing off and put a yeah. hospital gown to get through TSA. <laughs> it's much so better. I didn't know yeah. they were doing that in Chicago. Oh, yeah. They are. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Well, so now you guys have three ply pink. Is that still happening? Yes. Yep. We still have yep. yep. short words. Yep. And you have giveaways and knit alongs. We, we try to do your, that. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. We've done yeah, a couple we do. of knit. We've done a couple of knit alongs. Irene um, has a sock decide, pattern yeah. out, and mm -hmm. so we did a knit along with that. Yeah. And we did one for felted bags. And I think shortly I'd like to do one for the color work mittens, but I think I'll wait till after the holidays because that's my new addiction. Mm. Color work mittens. Yes, so much it. fun. I love it. Oh my gosh, so much fun. Well, any parting thoughts? Did I cover everything? Oh, I think you covered it all. I think you did yeah, it. It's been a great so chat. Happy. You came to, you, you, uh, Thanks for looking us up. You came, <laughs> you came to me. Um, yeah, I just think it's great. I think one thing I've learned from this weekend is that people are looking for connection. And so if they don't have a local yarn shop or if Wednesday night meeting doesn't work for their schedule, which it absolutely does not work for me in my life right now. Mm -hmm. Just where right. my station in life, right? No way. Uh, the the window that YouTube has provided is really important and really meaningful. And sure. so I think it's great to have you here because you know we run out of them 
or yeah. we're looking for new ones. And so if, if, you know, you enjoyed our chat today, I think you'll really like free fly podcast. And, the, you know, the more people that get involved with you, with your podcast, you know, that will inform what you do next or yes. right. what you add or take away or change. Right. And, I agree. And yeah. so yeah, absolutely. Um, I think it se- seems like you want people to be a part of that. So. Yeah, absolutely. We, we, really we like would love interaction. Yeah. So when you really comment, like we absolutely yeah. like that yeah. because then there's somebody out there. Yeah, who's yeah. out there? So I'll put the links down below of how you find you guys on Instagram or Facebook or whatever, whatever you have. I'll put them all down below this this screen here. You can click on over. Awesome. Thank you. Well, thanks Thank for you. being here. Thank, Thank you, you, Christy. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye.